hi capricorn welcome to my channel capricorn i hope you are doing well capricorn i hope you are fine and safe and doing good capricorn this reading for today it is your daily collective tarot reading session for you capricorn this is your next 24 hours reading your daily check and reading this is for the capricorn sun Someone is going to be asking you a very important question, Capricorn. Let's see what is coming towards you. What is the guided that is meant for you? What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? Capricorn, this is for you, okay? What can I get for the Capricorn sign? What is your guided message? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Capricorn, let me just check the camera. Let me just check the camera. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. You know. Okay. All right. I think that is much better. Let's see what's coming towards you. You have a two of swords. The Knight of Wands. What's coming towards the Capricorn sign? You have a Seven of Cups. The Knight of Swords. I feel like this is you versus them reading. Okay, oops, so sorry. Sorry, Mr. Santa Claus. I'm trying to decorate my my table with Halloween and then pre-Christmas. We've got you have the Ten of Pentacles in here. What can I get for the Capricorn sign? Capricorn. We've got the Empress card. How are you, Capricorn? You have the Queen of Swords. And so we start your reading. Well, I'm kind of picking up a strong challenge. Well, it's not a challenge of making it difficult. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a challenging question. Okay, um, three, seven, ten days from now, there's a Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Two of Swords. You have no idea they will ask you this it's a feeling of you have you have no idea they will ask you out you have no idea they will ask you about this question you have no idea that this question is a very challenging question to receive and to respond for some of you it's connected to family for some of you it could be for some of you it's good it's connected to family for some of you it's connected to um lovers friends i don't think this is connected to business it could be connected to connected to a friend for some of you guys but it's basically a million dollar question it's very intriguing for them to ask you this okay yeah look at that look at that look at the chariot card they're coming look at that look at maleficent they're on fire someone is going to shoot you a million dollar question capricorn something that it will if you answer it will make you both happy or it will probably make them cry for some of you guys you will reject this person it's different from each one of you but this is a catalyst this is a burning question this question will change everything and it's depending on you Capricorn it could be as simple as will you help me will you accept me will you forgive me do you miss me Capricorn yeah six of coins after all that I've done do you miss me the six of pentacles in here do you miss them um so prepare for a million dollar question a burning question in here you've got the knight of swords so the knight of swords look this person knight of wands I'm excited to ask you this question okay they're excited you are the knight of swords you're excited to res reply with them but this is also dismissive okay the hermit card hmm and you are the king of wands whoever this person is whatever your respond reply they have to be patient okay because It's going to make you excited, but I don't think this person will get the king of wands right away. I get that this person might have 
they might, whoever this person is with a seven of cups, it's possible that they made it complicated. I believe whoever this person is, there was a complicated vibe in the past and they're trying to get a shortcut by asking you this question. You're surprised, you like it, and you don't like it at the same time. The Hermit card, if you use your wisdom, if you use your logic, maturity, their question is more okay than exciting. But personally, because you like this person, but you probably don't like what they're doing or what they did, so the 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 excitement and the logical is into is it's like the the vibe is like dancing logically logically the way they ask the question it's quite surprising and it's quite blunt or bold that there's a part of you that you don't appreciate it but if you don't answer it it will never go to the next level very intriguing i know very intriguing because you're the king of wands so the way you're navigating into this is the logical like very could be the advice to you because i'm kind of picking up if, if you don't answer it you might miss the opportunity if you do answer it you would like to make sure that they won't get it the way they want it they would have to earn it with the king of wands because it's undeniably with the king of wands undeniably you're excited but they probably pissed you off in the past that's why you can't just come back like this we have some rules or there is some there's something proper that they need to do it's like there's a proper way to do things with me you know with the king of wands okay that could be the advice to you but you versus them is like hmm I like you as a person I just don't like the way you ask me or I don't like what you did so you can you cannot just chime me and come back to me there is a hermit card in front of the king of wands so you're gonna use your wisdom before your excitement because you probably learned the lesson so you you have like a border patrol like you have a filter come on okay before we get excited before we flirt get excited let's talk with the king of wands yeah you're very patient you're very patient about this person or situation you believe that i still like you interested with you but we have some ground rules or like house real rules in here with the temperance card the hangman oh the hangman you know it feels like you you have interrupted their daydreaming like this person I'm so, I'm so i'm so excited to talk to you i'm so excited like i'm kind of picking up like i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited and then you gave them a reply that is mature like whatever you respond to the reply it was in order it was it was it is what's needed in the situation the hangman they thought whoever this person is they thought they could get back to you in a shortcut but they realize that they need to change they need to they need to be fully mature embrace full maturity to because i feel like this person would like to take a shortcut you know the chariot card the six of pentacles in here they would like to take a shortcut but you respond reply to them you would know what to do you would know what to do because the outcome is a 10 that then you will get exactly what you want from this person and situation and they will get you your actions whether you reject them or it took you time to respond to reply they will get you you know they will get and respect your decision they will understand you in fact they they would even love you they would even love you they would even be so attractive to you the ten of pentacles and the empress card because you're very logical and you respond you reply to them it makes sense and not only that but i get i get the feeling capricorn that this situation you have to say this properly and manage this properly logically before you get excited because your impulse will get into the way to the security and also you've come a long way and you're not afraid to lose this person or situation because you would like to get love and respect or respect and excitement 
or money and respect. There's something in order that you would be able to do, or that could be the advice to you because in the immediate future, it's beautiful how you handle it. It's respectful. In Queen of Swords, lesson learned to this person. Lesson learned. Yeah, look at that, the star card. And that is where, you know, healing would take place. Look at that. Look at the star card. Let's see. It could be a younger sibling. It could be, I don't, I get this. There's something passionate about your relationship with this person is passionate, but they could be flimsy. Or they could be like haste, flimsy, passionate, and you want things in order. Like you don't want to make a mistake or waste time. Let's put this in order. Like let's talk, let's secure, and then let's make love. Something like that, okay? Oh yes, let's be practical. Let's be practical, security, and then we can flirt, we can dance, we can have fun. But right now... Let me just get straight to the business with the Queen of Pentacles and the Star card in here. I feel like it's a very practical and beautiful outcome in here. Look at that. I love these cards. So Capricorn, this is your collective reading. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Capricorn, please click the bell. Click subscribe. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye, Capricorn. Okay. It's still... Okay.